for uh, just kind of for rust a little oil right there not much just just uh, just ever such a little bit don't go don't uh, don't be wasting no oil but use too much the uh, the governor system up here I'm going to slide that back put a little oil right in there put a little oil right in there turn that around we need that to be really 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 free don't mind a little run down and oil that right in there and right down in there on the back side of that oil her up liberally you don't want any at this point we don't okay that's good to go maybe uh maybe a little bit of oil right in uh bore on that crank sh on that flywheel right there just ever such a little bit you know so it uh, so it's not dry Just a little bit. Don't get carried away. Okay, now we can put this flywheel right up here. And slide her in there. Let's uh let's put us a gib key in there just for to hold it. Oh yeah, we got compression. We have to take that spark plug out now. Too much compression. Uh, let's reposition. Oh yeah, we good. To, <laughs> we got compression. Let's reposition. Talking about this governor system, you see, I it didn't go up there. The reason being is the hole in the back of this flange right here didn't match up with our pin down yonder. Right there, hole is. Put it right down there. Now, now that uh, that can slide on up and make contact. This here with that can make contact. And that's the way that governor works, just like that right there. Let's put some oil on there. Just a little bit. A little oil right there. A little oil down in there. Uh, 30 weight non detergent to serve you well. A little in the back right there. Get that all lubed up really good. And a little dab on them shags right there. It'll just help us when we get ready to... Uh, um, uh, put the governor fork in there. A little oil on all of the pivot points. And I'll show you something. The, um, Uh, what I was explaining to you a moment ago is the pin. That pin that goes across in that brass thing in yonder, this is the direction the flywheel turns, right like this right here. Okay, that, that, that little pivot part of that flyweight right there, the pivot part of that, is... Um, it, it's it this turns backwards so that rides against that little arm right there if this if this was turned around that that round thing would be on the back side of this and that arm would be digging into the brass part right there that's just what I was going to show you about that but oh uh, yeah that works uh, that works better than need be Okay, let's put our uh, let's put our gib key back in there to kind of hold us in position. And don't we don't have no springs on there just yet. That's the way that works. A uh, little bit of oil right down yonder on that on that little on the rod that comes through there on both sides. Uh, right back in yonder and that's that's one of the places and right here is the oil up here on the front right here Right there Is a uh, well, we'll get to that Let's get that let's get that uh, governor yoke on there now that fork Let's get that fork on there. How are we gonna get where we can see that? Well, this is gonna have to be creative Okay, let's let's lock this flywheel into position 
so that we can get that governor fork on there. And what I need to do is to loosen up this and pull this flywheel back a little bit on this side over here, ever such a little bit. And now I'm going to I'm going to find my number over here again. I'm going to pull the crankshaft to me. Okay. Okay, I need to go back half of that. I'm going to turn that other side so that I can... Okay. If y'all can see that. Actually, that's, that's that needs to be a little bit more. Okay, and that's about half of that measurement. You know, if you're if you're not if you're not comfortable of doing this by eyesight, then get the get the ruler on it, get the uh, get the dial indicator and set it up there, magnet it over there. If you're not comfortable of doing it this way, then do it with the dial indicator. It's just uh, this works really good, and it's uh, you, you've got uh, you've got several several thousands you won't talk thousands uh, it's uh you, you got some play there but and and now now what I'm observing is where this flywheel center touches that babbit flange and then my measurement over here is half of that the distance of that play which is what that is okay now that's tight enough there so so what I'm going to do is bring the brass the brass drift punch right here. Okay, that's enough for the time being. May want may want to may want to redo that. May may want to move it. I don't think we will, but it's tight. But before that uh, we call it finished, I will set that tighter. But we've got that now to see where we're at. To check it is, and if you turn the flywheel on the other side over there, it kind of makes it easier to make it go back and forth. But see it come back over there, the tape evened up with the flange. Okay, now if I turn that and push it back, it's, um, well, you want to measure it? We will. It's a sixteenth, you know. About the thickness of a dime, give or take. And yeah, we're done with that right there. Let's get that off of there. So, and uh, I think what I do is I'm going to set that other flywheel on here just for balance. Kind of to, to it's kind of getting side heavy. Ah, uh, yeah. That's a little bit more better. Let's put us a little oil in there on that on that crankshaft throw while we're uh, while we're thinking about it put a little oil in there oh I forgot some gotta get that thing up on there up on there okay and we might as well to the gib key on this side over here now is shorter to correspond with the different width of the flywheel but uh, oh yeah and we'll uh, we'll set that tight over there. That's just for balance at the time being. Actually, I think what I do, I'm gonna set it a little tight for the time. We're gonna take it back off, but I need I need this to be where it's gonna be at with no play, so that we can adjust our fork over yonder. That's what was. So if I pull it this away. And slide the flywheel up yonder, take all the play out of it like that. And that no yonder is it's tight enough. Let's get the let's get that lead hammer. Knock it yonder way so it bottoms out and and push that flywheel up yonder four as it'll go. And then take our dri uh, brass drift. And uh, that's enough. Okay, now we've got uh, we got that uh, 
you know the, the the flywheels are centered up now the the crankshaft the crankshaft is centered up and and there's you know there's a uh, somebody the other day uh, said uh, used a, a measurement of oil squish and you know that's a good measurement I use that quite often if 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 it needs some play and it'll make the oil move you know that's good enough you've got play if you can see a little ripple in that drop of oil uh, you've got enough play now let's get to the, <laughs> let's get to that fork down in there 